So I've got flour, butter, eggs and jam. Victoria, your sponge, by any chance? Well, yeah, it's food technology. Though I'm still missing cream and baking powder. You know, Billy usually helps me the night before. Yeah, you get some devs on the way in. Okay, five should do it, right? Oh, thank you. Um, are you sure? It's a pleasure. And I will look forward to sampling it later. But it's meant to be a Mother's Day cake. Well, as your unofficial grandmother, I get first dibs. And what Eileen can't manage, I will mop up later. OK, I'll see you guys later. Bye, darling. Bye, Summer. And don't stint on the cream. It up to you, love. Do you know when you speak if it's a lie or if you're telling the truth? <laughs> you're right to be angry. You'll see. I mean what I say. And how long will I have to wait? Or will the suspense kill me? So, eat your fruit at playtime, OK? Morning! Oh, yeah. How's my little ruby, yeah. Don't you look cool? You're at home? Yeah. Yeah? Doing out this weekend? Well, I have nothing planned. Well, it's Mother's Day Sunday. Fizz will be expecting some art. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry if she was putting in yesterday. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, well, I know it must be awkward being quizzed about your love life. No, it's not to quiz with me. <laughs> Get away. It's true. Well, whatever. You're a good listener. Yeah. I'll have blokes' tongues in, you know. Be surprised. Cheers, Sarah. You better get the girls to school anyway. You know, I best get my hair stinking of kebab meat. Hey, where have they gone? Girls? Oh, they've not gone in there, have they? They can't be anywhere else. Ruby! Oh, they're in here, look! What? What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing in there? I don't know. The, the doors? Have you locked this door? No. Well, then who has? What's that noise? What? There's an electric saw in there. One of them must have turned it on. Move away from that now. Well, I'll cut the hands off. You do more than that. Move. How has this door got locked? What are you doing? You're not going to use that. Have you got any better ideas? They're going to die in there. Stand back. Right, move away and cover your faces. Oh. Honey, you, don't you ever walk off like that again, do you hear me? You're right, sweetheart. Oh, come here. Mm. What did you buy her in the end? We'll wait and see. Yeah, that sounds fab. OK, I'll be around later. OK, bye. That was Deb. He's just asked if I'll do his accounts. Oh. You wait ages for a job, <laughs> and then two come along at once. You two are looking rather cagey. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> oh. It's lovely, Jude. I couldn't be nicer. Thank you. <laughs> and you bought yourself that book on Kindle? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Thanks. Oh, and there's... Uh, there's this. It's nothing much. <laughs> Jude, this is amazing. Is it? Stop it, you know it is. <laughs> well, let's see it then. <laughs> oh, it is beautiful. You really shouldn't have done this. We can't afford it, babe. If I can't buy a present for my wife on her birthday. I know, but it's... I really love it. Thank you. <laughs> Him in here. 
I didn't. Well, you must have took your eye off them, though. How else did it happen? Is that the saw? Yeah, one of them turned it on. And which one of you did that? The door was locked. We couldn't get in. How did that happen? Well, that's what I want to know. Cos there's no keys. They said they didn't do it. Well, at least you've had the sense to smash the door in. It's Gemma's idea. Thank you. It went out. Uh, saving our kids' lives? I don't think so. I'm gonna have to tidy this lot up. Pat's gonna go, Matt. I thought you said you didn't have a key. I didn't. Well, what's that doing there? Don't. Yeah, it's just around the corner, love. I know, but it's a very big corner. You ever walk around it? Of course not. All right, well, listen, if he's not there in two minutes, give us a call, OK? OK, bye-bye, bye, bye. bye. Just off to the shops. Is there anything you fancy? Well, not unless Dev sells time machines that take you back to missed opportunities. Carla was making fun of me. Oh, so what, Sal? Of our house. And by implication, our life together. Well, who cares? We'd have had a quick sale and we'd be out of here by now. What's more important, that or a stupid opinion? Well, I thought that couple were interested. Yes, but they weren't, Sal. <sighs> well, I've only come here to make friends. Well, there'll be more buyers, I suppose. And I promise I'm not going to put them off. Yeah. See you later. So did you tackle him? Yeah. And? I'm not going to make a decision like that overnight. You've not even talked to him, have you? I have. I've got a lot at stake here. He's my husband, no matter what he's done. And with Todd and Jason no longer around, what else have I got? People lost a lot of money over that scam, Eileen. Todd knew about that scam. I turned Pat in, and Todd's in trouble. Would you do that if it meant Faye might go to prison? Faye's done nothing wrong. No, but you had to think about it, didn't you? All right, so you're going to spend the rest of your life with a bloke that you know is bent, a bloke you can't trust, and a bloke that you don't know what crime I'll commit next. What lie he's going to tell. We all know it's not going to be easy, Eileen, but you're a good woman. If you look out of this, you'll never forgive yourself. What are you grinning at? I'm uh, nothing. Mm, something rude, then. Well, you'll never know, will you? Mm. No! <laughs> <laughs> well, I won't ask who it's from. Good. Josh, I assume. You have just said you wouldn't ask. Mm. Is that a date yet for the wedding? Well, we were thinking Christmas, actually. Oh, do I get an invite? You'll get a rocket if you carry on. <laughs> Look, I am not complaining that you've got a mate. At least now I know that you're not the lone psychopath I thought you were when we first met. Yeah, well, it takes one to know one, doesn't oh. it? There you are. I like the sound of that. Looking for me? Yes. You're just having me dinner. Brace yourself. Why? Just had a call from your dad. Him and Robin are having a baby. Came as quite a shock. I'm not surprised. He's pushing 50, isn't it? And they're emigrating to New Zealand next month. Pat! Oh, hi. Come in. Is, uh, is Pat about? No, I'm looking for him myself. Um, I've just got these for him. Pictures of Lee, Billy's brother. He's a drug addict. Uh, where'd you get them from? I just went on Friends Connect. Well, Pat thought if we set up a page of our own and put these on, then it might help track Billy down. I mean, if they're hanging out together, it could jog people's memories, couldn't it? Mm. And he suggested it. Yeah, clever, eh? <laughs> Very. <laughs> I'll leave these with you anyway. Will you, um, will you tell him I called? Because yeah. we could do with getting cracking, really. All right. See you later. Bye, love. Done you a bit of chicken salad. Sit down. Great. Although, don't think you're having any of my chips. <sighs> Were they all right when you dropped them off this morning? Yeah, fine, yeah. A bit quiet, but you would be, wouldn't you? I'm starting to think, Ty, that all this is my fault. Ruby acting up. Why? Well, she was fine, wasn't she? All the time I was away, then as soon as I'm back... Maybe she's confused by it all, or angry. You couldn't blame her. 
I'm going to talk to her tonight, see if I can get it out of her. Ty, we can't let her keep bottling it up. She'll just get worse. Y yeah, I know. But there's something I've been wanting to tell you. What? Ruby's not been that good while you've been away. She's been playing up like she would before. What, and you didn't tell me? Oh, that's just brilliant, isn't it? It was me thinking this morning was my fault when all along you knew. No wonder we've got a problem. Go on, what else? Um, Sean did some stitching for Aiden, but it all got caught up, so we didn't get paid. And Ruby did it? Looks like it. Anything more? Yeah, he was gonna go on a date with some guy, but all the messages on his phone got deleted. Long story short, it never happened, but that is it. Ty, you called me nearly every night. I know, but you had your hands full with your mum. I didn't want you to worry. Didn't want to admit you can't control your own daughter. Our daughter? Oh, what? Is it because she's got Kirsty's genes? Is that what you're going to say? That it's now to do with you? Change the record, will you? Whatever it is, the only thing for it now is to get a professional help. Ty, it's been going on too long. No, she was rattled because you was away, and now she's rattled because you're back, but she'll settle down. And what about before I went away? How do you explain that? You've got to admit there's a pattern. I'm worried now that Hope's not safe to be around her. <sighs> First nearly breaking her arm, then burning the trampoline, now this morning. They could have both been killed by that saw. What's going to be next? Either you take us to see someone... Oh, what? Or I'm going to have to start thinking about moving out of here and taking Hope with me. Are you going to sulk all afternoon? He just called out the blue. Yeah. And you had no idea? Well, I've spoken to him for ages. But why New Zealand? I mean, it's the other side of the world. Well, he's applied for this job thinking he's not going to get it. Bit of a joke. And then next thing you know, they've asked him to start straight away. Anyway, he wants us all to get together before he goes so we can say goodbye properly. Yeah, he really wants to see you. Is he selling his house? He didn't say. Is he coming back or what? Well, he did use the word emigrate, and I don't think you would root your family for no good reason. But why didn't he ring me? Well, he just rang the house. I suppose he didn't know who was going to answer. Well, it's not like he's not got my number. I, mean, I speak to him every couple of weeks. I think it's all just happened very quickly. I think he's going to have quite an adventure mm -hmm. out there. Good bully for him. Hi, Eva. Got your text. Thanks, love. Listen, I'm sorry I've been so elusive. Fizz and Tyrone's kids have been causing mayhem over at the factory. Oh, no. Yeah, don't ask. All sorted now, anyway. You got pictures of Lee. Sorry they're not very up to date. Yeah. I was gonna say, but he doesn't look this pretty now. I mean, you can't change that much. Mm. Does this mean that you're free to help me look today? Yes, fine. OK, great. People have already started sharing the Friends Connect post. Ah, there you go. Getting the hang of this now, are you? Yeah. What a man's got to do, eh? Ah. So I'm thinking, if we put some of these on, I've got them on my phone as well. OK. I mean, that's for where we start looking for him. Be anywhere. Well, I had a bit of a scout out last week, but I, I don't know. I think we've got to start digging a little deeper. You know, homeless shelters, food banks. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't believe they'll have gone that far. Yeah. And if we put the word out that we're looking for them, well. Mm. You know what else I'm thinking? Put some pictures on of summer. You know, like daughter missing daddy sort of thing. I like that. Pull out the heartstrings. Brilliant, that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Show Billy what he's missing. If we have a pig in find him. You know, there's a load of uh, photos of Summer over at the flat. Oh, OK, well, give us a key, I'll go and get some. OK. Take Summer's uh, key. Are you sure you've got time? Yeah, yeah. Look, I, I'll make time. I want to help. OK. Hey, this is all coming together, isn't it? We'll find you. Good. Thanks, Eva. <laughs> Thinking up excuses to avoid the evil hour, are you? I'm going to stand by him. Oh, you cannot be serious. After all he's done, screwing over all those people... Yeah, I don't need you to go through the list, thank you. But why? Because at the end of the day, I don't think he's that bad a man. He never set out to scam anyone on the flats. He just got overtaken with events. Eileen, out of all the people I know, you're the last person I've done as a mug. 
He's been trying to make up for it ever since. He's still trying to make up for it. I bet he is. He's out looking for Billy so that someone will have a dad. Oh, I mean, he's playing games. It, it, it's what he does. Can't you see that? Sorry I've made my decision. So all that remains is, are you going to tell everyone? You know, if you keep covering for him, how can I? The guy's made out of Teflon. And the police? Are you going to tell them? Me and Pat are leaving. You'll never have to see us again, and, and you and Sally, you won't have to go anywhere. Please, Tim. All right. You go quickly and I'll keep it to myself. You hang around and I'll tell them everything that I know. <laughs> How old is he? Just over 12 months now. Goes so fast, eh? I know, it's unbelievable. And he's so mobile, I can't take my eyes up him for a second. Exciting. A bit of boredom wouldn't go, miss. Never satisfied. I'll see you later anyway. See ya. Hey, going out? Just a bit of window shopping whilst Jude looks after George. <laughs> oh, my phone. What? Well, don't bite my head off, but there's a job in the Gazette that might suit you at the local Marine Life Centre. <laughs> when I'm ready to start work... Well, I... I know it's going to be a step down for I you. I couldn't take a job if I wanted to. Angie's getting more work every day. We need to look after George. We can't afford the childcare. Well, that's where I would come in. Mum, we're fine. Oh. Find it? I did. Be back at five. Tea will be on the table. Oh, thanks, Mary. <laughs> Bye. stood outside the factory smoking fags and joking. But this time next year before it reopens at this rate. Well, you'll be gone by then, so what's it to you? You all right? Is it? It's Ty. Well, it's Ruby. She's... She's been playing up for months, and his mum's just been naughty. Doing what? Oh, where do you want me to start? She nearly broke Hope's arm. Set fire to the trampoline we bought them. Then she cut up some samples that Sean had done for Aiden. Blimey. And this morning she locked them both in the factory office and set off an electric saw. What? I've told Ty that she needs to see a psychologist. And if he doesn't agree, I'm leaving and I'm taking hope with me. I know, I know, I'm the wicked stepmom, but. I'm really worried, Sal, for Hope's safety. You know what? I can't say I blame you. I'm at my wit's end. Does she own up to it? No. So if she's not telling us why she's doing it? <sighs> do you know, I don't like to say this, but you don't think it's anything to do with Kirsty? You know, like mother, like daughter. That's exactly what I think. But Ty won't have it. Because she was very good at hiding what was wrong with her. You know, sometimes you have to put your loved ones first. I mean, that's why we're moving away, to protect Faye. So you don't think I'm being unreasonable? I think you're doing absolutely the right thing. And he needs to see that. Hi, Peter, it's Eva. Look, um, I'm not going to be able to do my shift today. Um, Summit's come up, but I will make it up to you, I promise. OK, bye. Hello? Billy, is that you? Lee? What are you doing here? Where's Billy? What's he got to do with you? Oh, I'm just grabbing something to eat. I'm starving. I meant it, Ty. About taking Hope away. Look, can we do this later? I've got two cars No, to we finish can't up. do it later. What? 
So you're really going to split the family up just because she's a bit off kilter? It's more than a bit, and you know it. And anyway, if you get her some help, then it won't do that. We can keep together. Fizz, she's five year old. So? So all that probing and delving, it'll make her feel nuts, and she's not. If she does something really serious, the first thing they're going to ask us is, did we have an inkling? And we're going to have to say yes. Are we? Well, even if we don't own up to it, we'd be responsible. You'd take it to A&E, wouldn't you, if she had an accident? Oh, that's different. No, it's not. We can't let it go on any longer. Ty, it's been months and it's getting worse. Yeah, well, you're just mad because they didn't tell you what's going on. Yeah, I'm angry, but that's not why I'm saying this. Right, all right. We'll just leave it a couple of weeks, see if it settles down, and if it doesn't, we'll think about it again. Is that your final answer? Well, for now, yeah. Right, well, go and finish your cars. But me and Hope won't be here when you get back. We're going to go and stay at Chesney's. I'm not risking being under the same roof as Ruby. Not anymore. We're back in Weatherfield in half an hour.